Hello guys, it's Salem Janet and welcome to another summer zoo video. So today, today is gonna be a uh, informative or educational video. So we're not gonna do any RTA, Gilbo or Siege, any stuff like that. So about today's video, it's about like uh, it's about the dimensional hole dungeons. You know the dungeons you farm the ancient runes, not the two A dungeons. This these runes you get here. These runes, the ancient runes you see here, the dungeon where you farm them. People have been asking me, uh, what are your teams? And I told them that you can beat them with uh, any dungeon. You don't need net fives for any of them, but they don't believe me. <laughs> I have no idea why, but they don't believe me. They're saying these dungeons are to pay to win. There are no free to play players can farm these. It is absolutely garbage. Why they're getting demoralized? Because when the, those people I asked, why are you having this thought process? I asked them because many people, who, that guy who asked many people, said they use this net five for this dungeon, they use this net five for this dungeon. Then there are most people use those net five for that dungeon. For example, Perna, the Fire Phoenix. People use a lot of uh, Fire Phoenix in Lume because it's very good there. And people get demoralized thinking that ah, I don't have Perna, I can't farm this. I don't have Legmoron, I don't have Teo, I don't have Ciara, I can't farm this dungeon. Uh, here it doesn't matter in Kazan because you can't use Net5 there anyways. The condition there is post and below and there anyway, so you can't use any Net5 there. You only you can use Net5 here and here. But people think they don't have that Net5, they can't farm their own. Even I don't have Ciara, I don't have Legmoron, I don't have Teo either. I have none of those, so I can still farm them. Today I'm going to show you uh, budget teams for each dungeon. Uh, and here the keyword here is budget. Budget means no net fives on the four stand below. This applies mostly to the Eloni and Lume because here in Kaza it's already four stand below only. You can't use net five there anyways. But still I'm going to show you a team there. Because some people still ask teams for that too. And first of all, I'll just show you the runs. Let's go to dimensional hole. It's right here. So first I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the team and the runs. So you can see how the run goes and what each monitor does in each run. And after all the runs are done, I'll show you guys the runs. So I'll see you guys after the runs.
without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Call me, baby, if you feel me. All the times that you rain on my parade All the clouds you get in using my name You think you broke my heart or got fucking messy You think I'm crying on my own, well I ain't And I didn't wanna write a song Cause I didn't want anyone thinking I still get a tone But you still hear my phone ring up and baby, I've been moving on And I think you should be something I don't wanna hold back Maybe you should know that My mama don't like you She likes everyone And I never liked to admit that I was wrong And I've been so caught up in my job Didn't see what's going on But now I know I'm better flipping on my own Cause if you like the way you look that much Oh baby, you should go and love yourself And if you think that I'm still holding on To something, you should go and love yourself When you told me that you had him, my friends the only problem was with you and nothing And every time you told me my opinion was wrong And try to make me forget where I came from And I didn't wanna write a song Cause I didn't want anyone thinking I still get a tone But you still hear my phone ring up and baby, I've been moving on And I think you should be something I don't wanna hold back Maybe you should know that My mama don't like you She likes everyone And I never liked to admit that I was wrong And I've been so caught up in my job Alright guys, I'm back 
Now, you guys just saw the runs and teams for each dungeon. Uh, there is one thing to disclaimer that uh, before I show you the teams, these teams are not 100% safe because uh, I think it's about 99%. There's a 1% chance to fail. That 1% chance is when the AI derps. By AI derping, I mean not using the right skills. When it's, when it's up even, sometimes the AI doesn't use it. Then they miss important debuffs like defense break and heal block in Lu Mei. You, you might have saw in the runs that my Kamun or in the Vigor miss heal block on the boss, boss heal to full HP, which extend the run a bit longer and made a success rate a little bit less. I, I, I almost wiped because I missed the heal block. If I didn't miss the heal block, it would be okay. But I still uh, I still managed to beat the run, meaning it's 99% safe. There's still 1% chance of happening. But still the teams are budget, so you guys can try this too. It has a very high success rate. For first one, Kazan. Here, I have Fran on Violent Will. And note that you don't need this amount of speed, plus 31, for Fran. You can just have a plus 100 speed, like my Bella right here. This speed is enough. You only need this amount of speed. It doesn't have to be will. My friend is at this speed and it's on will because I use her in my Guildborn Guild Siege 2. That's why I need her for more speed and I put her on will. You don't need that. You can have this same stat right here on Bella. I on your friend as well. This is my Hua as my damage dealer. And she's on Swift Fight. Swift Blade. Doesn't have to be Swift Blade. It can be any set. She's just the damage dealer there. And here's my Kamun. My Kamun is on crit damage, so the Kamun can do damage as well. And also, you don't need a crit damage Kamun. You can use a speed HPHP tank Kamun. It will still work. Kamun is here because of this boss here, defense breaks. So if the boss defense breaks a unit, most likely it will be the Fran or the Bella. Because the boss is wind, the target light units, it will prioritize the light units. If the, if a Fran or Bella get defense broken, Kamun shield will protect that unit from dying and it can tank hits and it will allow the Bella and Fran to heal up and get uh, get rid of the defense break as well. That's why the Kamun is there. Uh, the shield will be more uh, thick, good, with more HP, but I build it on crit damage. So in case Hua dies, my Kamun still can do damage. That's the team for Kazan. Next is Elunia. Elunia uh, is the uh, easiest dungeon for me out of the all three because you only, the condition here is to have same element. So the boss is water, just use a wind, full wind team. It will be easy. The boss can't do much damage to you. And for the runes, the two damage dealers are the Gaorochi and the Yen. My Orochi is on Fatal Blade, just standard damage set. And you don't need uh, 100 crit rate. You only need 85 crit rate here because you're hitting ward element. I didn't get 85, so the 82, but it's okay. You only need 85 crit rate, so you have 100 crit rate against the boss, and you can always uh, have higher chance of it. So this skill will always activate. Uh, some people have the misunderstanding that you don't need accuracy for this, you need accuracy. I know I don't have high accuracy, but uh, somehow it still lands dots. I rely on the damage more than the dots. The dots is just a bonus. For dots to land, you need the accuracy. But the activation for the dot to happen, you need 100 crit rate. So uh, you only need 85 here because what DOS is water, you get bonus 15 because of elemental advantage. But as I said, I rely on the damage. You saw how much damage the Orochi did. So the, the uh, DOS is just a bonus. This is my second damage dealer, Yen. You don't need her to be this fast again. She is this fast because I use her in Siege with Clara and Galleon. To speed to them, I need, I need her to be this fast. But again, you can have the same speed here as, as Orochi, and she will just work fine. And you're gonna use the Orochi speed lead as well. My Bernard is on Swift, broken, as fast as possible. Again, you don't need this amount of speed. My Bernard is for arena. I use Bernard for my arena offense, so I need it to be fast as possible. 
so you don't need to be this fast same as plus 100 speed burnout will work but preferably before your yen and your orochi because bernard has defense break so you need bernard to put defense break first on the boss so they can do damage on top of that for that same reason my chassis is on swift the reason chassis is on swift i need to her to move before my yen and orochi i don't have a violent set to be plus 141 <coughs> excuse me I'm still sick. Okay, sorry about that. As I was saying, uh, my Chasun is on Swift because I don't have a violent set to be faster than Yen. I don't have a violent set with plus 44 and plus 140 speed violent set. Unfortunately, I'm not that, I don't have that crazy runes. Unfortunately, if you guys think I have those crazy runes, you're completely wrong. But I don't have that set. So I use on Swift to get that speed. So it actually moves before. Yen and Orochi to get the attack buff. But she can move after your Bernard, doesn't matter. It's okay. She just need to move before your Yen and your Orochi for the attack buff. Bernard should move before your Yen, your... Uh, Bernard can move before and after Chasu, doesn't matter. But it should move before your Orochi and Yen for the defense break. And again, Chasu doesn't need to be this amount of speed, as I said. Just need to be speed turned in the correct order, as I just said. I have this fast because my yen is this fast. And for the last dungeon, Lume. Lume I use uh, almost like Elonia. I just switch the Bella with Vigor and Orochi as my fire damage dealer. I don't have a good water damage dealer here. Susano is way better than Garo here, but I don't have a Susano. So I use Orochi instead. You saw my friend runes. It's the same friend and it's the same Kamun. And also, I'll repeat. You don't need a crit damage Kamun. Crit damage Kamun help with damage. A full tank Kamun will still work. I like Vigor here because of three reasons. Number one, heal block. Heal block is necessary for this boss because boss will heal up. And secondly, anti-crit. I know it doesn't work most of the time, but it works here in dungeons. It helps. And he also has a heal. So that's kind of good for their skill. And lastly, defense break. This guy will provide defense break and it's three turns. It's really good here. Vigo is really good for this dungeon. I recommend building a Vigo. It doesn't have to be this dungeon. He is really good in PvP. You saw the rise of Vigo in RTA as well. That's another, another topic for another day. Vigo is really good in this dungeon. As I said, Garo is my damage dealer. And also I said Susano, the water ninja, is better than Garo for this dungeon, but I don't have a Susano. I have a Garo instead, so I use the Garo. And these are the stats you need and Garo for the damage deal. And that's it for all three dungeons. So as this guy saw, you don't need net fives to do this dungeon. It's not pay to win. And whoever to put you in the mind that you need pay to win runes or pay to win units to do this dungeon is complete garbage. I just proved you that. So don't complain. Farm runes and you can build the correct unit and teams. You can do these dungeons. I usually farm this dungeon, Elonia, because this dungeon drops uh, despair and will. Where do you see that? Drop info. Yeah, Despair and Will. Those are the two sets I need here. And the other dungeon doesn't drop much uh, runes I want. So I'll farm here the most. And also, as I said, this is the easiest for me. Okay, that's it for me from now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something from this. And I hope you have happy, uh, good times farming. And hope you get good runes for you to improve. So until the next video, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye for now.